Now listen to this mock parody Israelite group. All right, this government agent sent group. People are vain. They say the customs of the peoples are vain. What customs? What customs are vain? What custom that people follow? Right now, you see the custom of the Israelites, what they're following, the one where they, they highly, and it's not one where, that's a street name, man. They gave a street name, a camp name. <laughs> it was uh, some ISUPK or something. And what happened in this school? It was nothing but wickedness amongst those brothers. Nobody wanted to speak about it. And who came out of that school? The same brothers that's in these camps right now. I-U-I-C, G-O-C-C, Zabak, all of them. GMS, they come from right up under that wicked ass car, that, 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 that doctrine that, that's killing our peoples today, man. Right. Nobody's holding these guys accountable because they're the ones keeping us divided. That's right. Oh my goodness. Before I start, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, Arachach Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations. To the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. What the fuck is this guy talking about? What do we, any of that have any relevance to Jeremiah 10? When clearly this is during the time of prophet Jeremiah. And Jake was getting tied up in the customs of the heathen. What the hell does that have to do with what happened in one west what like and that's why the scriptures say there's a lot of unruly and vain talkers of the circumcision who mouths must be stopped it's a lot of impostures all right a lot of a lot of uh, uh counterfeits that are out there that are not qualified to teach but yet they are set up and they have a they, they have followers you would have to be a simple individual to listen to everything this 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 guy is saying, this character. The simple believer of every word, but the prudent man look well to what's going. What relevance do what he's saying have to the scripture that he's supposed to be breaking down? This, this is how you know. That, you know, it's a, it's a lot of false prophets out there. There's more false prophets than there are actually true uh, prophets of the Lord out there. And you got to be very careful, man. But this this group in particular, they're, they're a joke to me. Like, I, I don't really consider them a real authentic uh, Israelite group or camp of, of prophets. These they're, they're literally like comic book, you know, agents. All right, that's playing the role of, of, of Israel. I can't take them serious. Let me get real quick. Second Timothy 3 verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And you got a lot of false prophets out there that are deceiving the people. All right. You look up that word, uh, Seducers in the Greek, the word is uh, goes, and it means an imposter. All right, a wailer, a howler. Like you, when you hear him talk, he always yelling and, and howling in, in the midst of his speech. And every time you hear him howl like that, you hear. Just pay attention to the reaction of uh, his congregation. Bring it out. That's right. Every time he wails, it's like he's putting a spell on them niggas, man. And that's supposed to make what he's saying the truth. A deceiver and posture. All right. You got a lot of pretenders, man. That got on the Israelite costumes out there just teaching just just whatever. This guy is not he is not breaking down the scripture correctly. None of what he had to say is has any relevance to what the, the scripture is saying. And then he has the nerve to title his video, Jeremiah 10 is not talking about Christmas. So he's saying that 
Jeremiah 10, the verse that we quote when we talk about the origins of the pagan practices going back to ancient Babylon and how Christmas is just a, 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 a newer up-to-date um tradition of that origin that origin the uh, original practice of uh basically worshiping um the dead all right and worship in, in in ancient babylon that's what they would do they it was the mythology was nimrod after he died his spirit went into a tree in order to invoke his spirit they put gifts up under the tree and then also it is is meant to be a phallic symbol as well. So let's let's go there real quick. Jeremiah 10 and 1 it says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. That's why they worship the sun and the moon and the stars. All right. But we know that the the the, the, the lights in the sky were just, you know, a, a ornament, you know, of a, pretty much a, a, a sign to declare the, the, the days and the, and the months and the seasons and the feast days. That's that's his purpose, but knowing how vain the heathen are, they be prone to worship it. It says, for the customs of the people are vain. And then the guy turned around and started ranting about one West. And what we're teaching is killing people. What, what the hell? So us teaching our people to repent and come back to uh, our, our, our heavenly father through his only begotten son. All right. Teaching you that. Um. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, that we're going to uh, rule in the kingdom to come, that we're going to uh, receive eternal life. That's killing that, That's killing people. The fuck is this guy problem? This guy is weird. Why do you turn and start talking about that in the midst of breaking down this verse when this has nothing to do with whatever it is you're talking about? For the customs of the people are vain for one cut of a tree out of the forest. This is. In the history, this is what they used to do. This was a custom of the heathen. The work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Because they, they're making it what? An idol. That's why they would put uh, uh, decorations on it. Okay. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. All right. It's an accursed thing because it's an idol. And when you put up that Christmas tree, it's an it's an it's an idol. All right. The customs. That they that they do today is nothing new. They did it back then. There's no new thing under the sun. Okay. This guy, he's just talking, he's just bumping. Matter of fact, let me get uh, another scripture. This, this is what he's basically doing. Let's go to um was it Proverbs? Might be 24. <clears throat> Proverbs 29 and 11. It says, A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. All right, NLT, it says, Fools vent their anger but the wise quietly hold it back this nigga going into a rage in the middle of a verse and trying to make it all uh, 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 you know come together as if it has any re relevance 
that, that <laughs> like let me let me play some more of this man you can't make this this up nobody won't say nothing that customs are the people's are vain man read for one cutting a tree out of the forest one divided one separate that's what they do what the hell is this guy talking about the scripture is literally describing the custom of cutting down an actual tree out of the forest and this guy's talking about division what the what the hell is this guy talking about the lord even said he's coming to bring division the they didn't come together back then the, the scribes didn't come together with the um the scribes and pharisees they didn't come together with the sadducees all right the the, the sadducees did not come together with the the uh the nazarites the nazarenes or if you will there was different sex back what what, what is this guy talking about man He's just inserting his whatever is coming to mind. He's just inserting that into scripture. And these idiots, these gullible idiots are just 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 soaking it up, man. That's why I was saying this is a this is a straight up parody Israelite group. They're they're literally like mock prophets, man. This guy's going into a damn rage. And not breaking the scriptures down correctly at all. And you playing with fire, man. You misusing his, his, his scriptures. There's a penalty for that. Let me get, uh, was it 1 Timothy 1? Uh, let me see. Um, so like you while I look look for uh, the scripture. This is what this clown is doing right here. And this is why you're supposed to, when every time you speak, stick to the scripture, man. Here we go. 2 Timothy 2 and 16. It's, I'll start at 15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that need him not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. All right. And, and with this group, you know, they're becoming more like the scripture said, but evil men and seducers and posture shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And the more you hear these dudes, the more you see how worse they're getting, because this is the same group who also believe that the Lord didn't do literal miracles. They teach that the Lord didn't do literal miracles. They teach that uh, Herod was, was an actual Jake and that Alexander was, was a Jake. Uh, the Alexander the Great. Um, now they're teaching that uh, <laughs> that Lot also looked back, not just his wife. So the more these guys talk, especially the head guy, the more he vents and 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 and, and, and you know, just babble out the mouth without bridling his tongue and understanding what the hell he's actually saying. The more you, you start to hear a more uh, perverseness. More uh, corrupt communication, man. And that guy's gonna pay for that. You know, there's no UFOs in the Bible. The Lord didn't do miracles. <laughs> and now uh, Jeremiah 10 has nothing to do with the custom being practiced on uh, Christmas. And no, yeah, Christmas, the actual so called holiday, uh, uh, 
uh, the day. I'm not going to call it a, a, a holiday because there's nothing holy about it. Yeah, the, the term Christmas didn't exist back then. So no, it's not talking about literally actually uh, Christmas, but the custom that you're doing on Christmas is connected to that uh, or that origin, the origin of that that pagan custom. And you being a, a Israelite, you're supposed to know the difference between the uh, the profane and 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 the holy. Okay, you're not supposed to have anything to do with with Christmas. But this guy's going into a whole nother situation, just really just on a tangent, man. And breaking down the scriptures totally wrong as he as he speak. Now, I think it, at this point, with all these all these different um false doctrines and heresies that that this group is bringing in, the more we understand that these guys are more than likely uh, agents. They're they're set up, man. They're 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 the so in uh confusion. And you and hey, Satan he's transformed in, into um a minister of the light. So marvel not if his ministers, you know, be uh transformed. All right. It was that uh Peter he warned us about mock teachers. Second Peter three and verse uh, three it says, knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust. All right, and it's also reiterated in uh, Jude. So Peter and uh, Jude both, you know, admonished and gave the warning that you're gonna have, you know, a bunch of dudes who call themselves prophets. Who say that they come in the name of the Lord, but the Lord did not send them. They're 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 phony. Jude one and eighteen it says, "How that they told you that there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their ungodly lust." And you look up uh, mockers. It's a uh, impetus is the Greek word, and it says a derider, i.e., by implication, a false teacher. All right, and that's what these dudes are. They're they're false teachers, man. All right. So if this isn't talking about that same custom, and but but it ain't talking about Christmas, what is it talking about? He's making it. He's making that particular scripture about what he's talking about, and it has no relevance. It has nothing to do with what he's talking about. All right. So. Real quick, let me, let me play this. Well, see, look back. What did the angels, what did the messengers tell her not to do about this world? But his wife looked back. Real. From behind him. Did you know Lot looked back too? Mm. Well, see, Lot's spirit was righteous. Hers was not. So he just threw that in there. And, and, and dudes do this to try to, you know, appear different, you know. But really... <laughs> This guy is just, uh, it's just Satan. Satan is on him. The spiritual demon Satan is speaking right through him. And when we hear these type of things, this is why we always mark these other groups. Pursuing the Romans 16. Mark them that which cause the visions. Or that's uh, 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 contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and, and, and avoid them. Because they serve not our, our Lord Yahushai, but their own belly. Through fair speeches and good words, deceive the hearts of the simple. Where is that in the scripture? Where Lot looked back? Where? Where do you read that at? Where do you find that? Prove all things, man. To the, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. This is not the body of Yahweh Shai. At all. This is a joke. This is a parody. All right, it tells you in Second Peter that, you know, Lot was, uh, he was vexed with the filthy behavior of the wicked. He, he, and the angel specifically told him, don't look back. All right, his woman looked back and she got turned into a pillar of salt. If he looked back, he would have been turned into a pillar of salt. Why did he make it? 
come on, man. So, you know, stand clear of these these type of individuals out there, man. All right, First John four and one. And it says, Beloved, be, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. And the Lord is clearly not dealing with, with, with that uh, Jephthah. The most high is not dealing with him. He's a, he's a straight up character, man. All right. He's something off the, off, if, if the boondocks came out with a, if they decided to, to you know, do a reboot and, 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 and go, bring out a, a new season. Hey, I, I I will watch an episode with his character on it, the cartoon character, you know, Jephthah. I I love to see that that parody appear <laughs> on 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 a new episode of uh, Boondocks, because that's what he reminds me of. He's a he's a straight up character, man, and guys like that. It's going to lead a lot of people to destruction. All right, let me get uh, this right here. Because if you get deceived by an individual like that, the Lord is clearly not dealing with you. Proverbs 22 and, 22 and 14, the mouth of strange women is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Are right, you going to fall right into that, that madness Cause that's what he's speaking is, is is strange. All right. So, you know, stand clear of these of these 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 cats right here, man. One body. All right. If you're gonna watch them, watch them for entertainment purpose. Like when you, hey, you dudes that come and watch our videos for entertainment purposes instead of getting edified, no. If you want to be entertained, check into to this group. Watch them. They will give you some unadulterated entertainment for you. These these agents right here. All right. Anyway, that that's uh, you know I I can go longer, but you know I, I think I'm gonna stop it right there, man. All right, these goos, these dudes right here, stand clear of them, man. All right, hey, y'all, bashim y'all shy, bashim rakak with us, rakatam to all the Akim and even you, uh, Akwaf, shalom.